Yes, hello, Navid. Welcome on Europedia platform and let's start your snap. Uh, RSA snap for your JKPSC interview for the post of AE. Yes, sir. In Kashmir Public Service Commission. So, Navid, uh, what's the difference between refrigeration and air conditioning? So, in the refrigeration, there is a, we transfer heat from a region at lower temperature to a region at higher temperature. And uh, generally, refrigeration is done for small spaces, mm -hmm. uh, relatively small dimensions, which are mainly used for the preservation of food items. But uh, in case of air conditioning, we actually transfer the heat to maintain at a, to maintain a desired temperature. And in air conditioning, uh, simultaneous control of temperature, humidity, uh, air speed, purity, these things are important. And air conditioning is generally done for large spaces, like we have rooms, halls, auditoriums, etc. Good. So, can you tell me what kind of refrigeration system we use in our air conditioners? How a typical domestic air conditioner works? So, it works on vapor compression refrigeration system. Vapor compression refrigeration system. Yes, sir. You know, nowadays we are having convertible ACs also. Those are available in the market. What do you understand by convertible ACs? Convertible ACs. So I haven't heard about them. Can a refrigerator work as a heat pump? Refrigerator. Yes, sir, it can work as a heat pump. How? Uh, like we, we just need to change the refrigerated space. Like mm -hmm. in case of heat pump, we have to keep the refrigerated space at a higher temperature. Mm -hmm. But in case of refrigerator, what we do, we keep, we keep it at a temperature lower than the refrigerated space, lower than the ambience. So just by reversing the conditioned space, it can work as a heat pump also. So what we take as a uh, ideal cycle for uh, heat pump and refrigerator? So it's a reverse Carnot cycle. So what do you understand by reversible cycle? VCRS cycle is not a reversible cycle. No, sir, it's not completely reversible. It's not completely. What do you mean by that completely reversible cycle? So because in the vapor compression refrigeration system, we have a throttling process, which is mm -hmm. an irreversible process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and other processes, but I think it's an irreversible cycle. And uh, the reverse car node is completely reversible. Reverse car node, yes, sir, it's completely reversible. Asha, can you prove that? Can you prove that? Yes, this is how, sir, we can say reverse car node is completely reversible. Sir, in, uh, sir, reverse car node cycle has internal reversibility as well as external reversibility because uh, the temperature addition or rejection that take place at uh, constant temperature means isothermal process. Mm -hmm. And isothermal processes can only be carried out reversibly. And other processes like uh, I, they are reversible adiabatic isentropic processes. What do you understand by dehumidification? So dehumidification. Yes, yes. So in which the humidity of the air will decrease. Okay. How we carry out dehumidification in a VCRS system? So we use, we use a cooling coil for that. It will absorb the moisture. So cooling coil is going to decrease the temperature of the air. It is going to cool the air. How you can say that the cooling coil is going to carry out the dehumidification also? When it is going to carry out the dehumidification? So when, so there is a cooling coil. There is a cooling coil in the refrigerator. Yes, sir. When we will be able to, you know, uh, mention in that case, the yes, uh, cooling coil is capable to carry out dehumidification. So what so we temperature, need, at yes what temperature uh, cooling coil will be in that case? So we need to temp, uh, maintain its temperature lower than the dew point temperature. Then it will start dehumidifying. What is that temperature? There is a specific name of that uh, coil temperature. So dew point temperature. What do you understand by apparatus dew point temperature? You heard about that? Apparatus dew point temperature. Apparatus. No, sir. Mm. Okay. Uh, from where you will get the dew point temperature, Navid? Suppose I will give you air at, uh, suppose, uh, 
air which is having relative humidity 60% and it is at a temperature suppose uh, 30 degrees Celsius. So how you will calculate its uh, dew point temperature? From where you can get its dew point temperature? Sir, we can use psychometric chart. From psychometric chart. Okay, just uh, carry out that analysis and uh, just tell me how you will get the DPT, uh, dew point temperature. The air relative humidity 60%, the air dry bulb temperature 30%. Relative So dry bulb temperature is how much? 30, 30 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity 60%. So first we will locate that point on psychometric chart. Then y axis, a constant y axis, uh, I mean, a line that is parallel to the dry bulb temperature line, or the parallel to x-axis, where it will touch the y-axis. So that will represent the its dew point temperature. You located it on cyclometric chart. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so the arrow is in the right side. Yes, sir, right side. Towards the vertical line. So the right side, it is going to cut the specific humidity line? Yes, sir. Then how you will get the DPT? You located the room condition. You located the air condition. It's fine. 60% relative humidity, dry bulb temperature, 30%. Fine. I just asked you how you will uh, find out the DPT. Dew point temperature. If you are moving from that point horizontally in right direction, yes, you will reach to the humidity, specific humidity line. You will yes, be able to measure the specific humidity. How much, how much water vapor that air is, is containing per kg of the dry air? Hold my question, Abed. Yes, sir. You are very Sir, when we will able we will be able to calculate the specific humidity, uh -huh. then we can use from that we can obtain the vapor pressure. Okay. But Achha, why you are moving towards right? Why not left? Horizontally, if we will move left, where we will cut? Where will you reach? So we will reach a saturated state if we cut. Saturated state, bilkul sahi. What is the definition of dew point temperature, Navik? The dew point temperature means if we do constant pressure cooling, then the saturation temperature corresponding to that pressure is more. Yes, so saturation means the water present in the air starts condensing. Yes, sir. So you need to reach towards the saturation curve. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You reach to that saturation curve. Now, if you draw the vertical line, the point where it is going to cut the DPT, that is going to give you the dew point temperature. Fine? Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes, sir. Fine. Now, can you show on the same cyclometric chart, Navid, can you show the chemical dehumidification process? Yes, sir. I will draw a separate chart because mm -hmm. this has messed up. So this will be heating and dehumidification. Achha, why heating? Fine, fine. Dehumidification is fine. But why the air temperature is heating? So tem uh, when vapor will convert into liquid, it will release some heat. So mm -hmm. because of that, released heat temperature is going to increase. Now what do you understand by cascade refrigeration system? Uh, so in cascade refrigeration, we use uh, two or more refrigerators in series. Uh, basically, when the pressure ratio is very high, so if we use a single refrigerator, so in that case, the volumetric efficiency of compressor will reduce. So uh, we do not want the vol volumetric efficiency to be very low. So to counter that thing, we use two refrigerators because in that case, for, uh, for individual refrigerator, the pressure ratio will reduce. So consequently, volumetric efficiency will increase. So that is the basic purpose behind this system, refrigeration system. 
cascade you know cop is a very important parameter we define for a refrigerator or heat pump system to define its performance yes sir so how you can uh, you know uh, define or how you can you know tell me about that ki this, this is how sir we can say cop is a measure of performance what kind of performance we are analyzing through cop so cop is significant section what is the significance of coefficient of performance so this gives us an idea about the refrigeration effect mm -hmm. also manage manage you are having a 2 ton refrigeration system which is having cop 3 2 ton 2 ton ka refrigeration system hai which is having cop 3 what it does yes, so refrigeration effect to already you know because the system is of 2 ton yes sir from here we can get the input work cop is given and the refrigeration effect is 2 ton from here we can get the uh, work input that is required to run Have this my last question to you what are some of the important desirable properties of a refrigerant uh, so first of all the latent heat should be high so that a refrigeration effect is high mm -hmm. also uh, also some common properties like it should be non corrosive non explosive it should be easily available economical the critical temperature should be high and आप इंटरेस्ट लेके बता रहे हो और टेक्निकल अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज आल्सो लुकिंग फाइन और ये टॉपिक प्रिपेयर कर लेना जिस 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 सब्जेक्ट का स्नैप देते हो ना उसके साथ 5 मिनट का टॉपिक प्रिपेयर करके आओ दैट इज देयर ना इन योर इंटरव्यू पार्ट सो दे हैव मेंशनड बट आई डोंट थिंक दे फॉलो इट बिकॉज़ दिस वाज दिस वाज रिटन फॉर दिस सेवन आल्सो तो हमें उसको प्रिपेयर करने में नुकसान क्या है है ना सो दैट्स ट्रू पांच छह सब्जेक्ट आप प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो ना हर सब्जेक्ट से 5 मिनट का एक टॉपिक आपको प्रिपेयर करना है Why actually I am asking you for that? Because जब आप उसको प्रैक्टिस करोगे ना दो तीन बार डिलीवर करोगे yes, मेरे आगे या किसी और मेंटर के आगे तो वो टॉपिक आपका अच्छा हो जाएगा एंड देन यू विल फील कंफर्टेबल कॉन्फिडेंट कॉन्फिडेंस वेन यू विल डिलीवर दैट टॉपिक इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर ठीक है नावेद बाकी मेरे को ठीक लगा है आपका अंडरस्टैंडिंग सर आई वन क्वेश्चन सर सर डू आई नीड टू कवर ऑल द सब्जेक्ट और आई कैन बटरलीपेंड्स ऑन दैनल तो कुछ पांच सब्जेक्ट प्रिपेयर कर लो और उसके बाद कुछ प्रैक्टिकल डेली लाइफ क्वेश्चन वो आप थोड़ा सा आपको रखना चाहिए ठीक है मटेरियल साइंस अगर कर सकते हो तो मटेरियल साइंस भी कर लो तो कुछ कॉम्बिनेशन आपको ऐसे बनाना पड़ेगा कि मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूल विल बी अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स दो सब्जेक्ट मान लीजिए आपने फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स किया स्टेंटोमेटिकल किया थर्मोडाइनमिक्स किया मटेरियल साइंस किया तो ज्यादातर इंटरव्यूअर इसमें से वो सेटिस्फाई हो जाएंगे एंड दे विल स्टार्ट आस्किंग मी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सब्जेक्ट ठीक है तो आपको कॉम्बिनेशन ऐसा बनाना पड़ेगा हो सकता है आप कॉम्बिनेशन बना रहे हो थर्मोडाइनमिक्स आरएसी पावर प्लांट हीट ट्रांसफर तो चारों के चारों ही सब्जेक्ट क्या है थर्मल के सब्जेक्ट है yes, हो सकता है वहां पे कोई पैनल जो है उसमें कोई प्रोडक्शन का बंदा हो कोई डिजाइन का बंदा हो तो जब मैंने आपको ग्रुप बताया उसमें क्या था थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वाज देयर फ्लूइड मैकेनिक्स वाज देयर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूअर एक्चुअली आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस सब्जेक्ट अदरवाइज मटेरियल साइंस इज देयर सो इफ समवन फ्रॉम प्रोडक्शन बैकग्राउंड इज देयर इन द पैनल ही इज गोइंग टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मटेरियल साइंस Stentometry, I also mentioned in that group. 
जो पांच सब्जेक्ट का ग्रुप है तो इफ देर इज इंटरव्यूअर फ्रॉम डिजाइन डोमेन दैट ही विल बी आल्सो एबल टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट नावेद तो थोड़ा सा आपको उस तरह से ग्रुपिंग करनी पड़ेगी नावेद ठीक है इज इट क्लियर यस सर ओके नाउ ओके नाउ वी आस्क वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सीओ CUP अपने को बताता है रनिंग कॉस्ट मोर इज द CUP ऑफ अ सिस्टम लेस विल बी द रनिंग कॉस्ट यस राइट राइट आपका जो रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम है उसका रनिंग कॉस्ट क्या होगा कम होगा तो वो सिग्निफिकेंस है उसके यस सर सो गॉट इट ओके ओके थैंक यू सर